Hey there, I'm Mr. Webb and I'm going to show you how to uh, use Desmos to really help you uh, find the slope and y-intercept of uh, from two points. So we can do this uh, any time that we have uh, two points uh, for, for some sort of data. And we can do this uh, and we're going to do linear, uh, linear functions right now. Um, so I've got two points here. Um, if I look at this verbal description, uh, it says the Guzman family paid $53 to have four pizzas delivered and five pizzas would cost six, uh, $65 and six pizzas would cost $77. Uh, so I've actually got three points. I just need two. Uh, so I'm just going to use my first couple here. So I've got... $53, $53 for four pizzas and five pizzas would cost $65. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to understand my pizzas are going to be my independent variable. Uh, so my X and my Y values, the, the cost of the pizzas uh, is going to be the uh, the de dependent variable, the y value here. So I'm going to take this over to Desmos. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create a table. So I'm going to hit the plus sign, add a table. Now I've got my x and y values here. I just need to type in uh, those x and y values. So I had four dollars, or sorry, four pizzas cost $53 and five pizzas cost $65. So I'm gonna type that in. And so now if I zoom out, I can find those points. I see already that I've got uh, two points on my graph. Now what I need to do is I need to tell Desmos to make this into a line. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in this, uh, this formula that looks very similar to our uh, slope intercept form. So we are gonna type in Y1, cause I want it to talk about this Y, these Y values. And then I'm gonna use the similar button, the tilde symbol here, MX1, plus B. So we see that it's very similar to, like I said, our slope intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. Uh, but in this case, I added in the similar symbol and I added in my ones to tell me, to tell it, to tell Desmos uh, that I want to talk about this data table here. And so now you can see it goes ahead and creates the line for me. And down here where it says parameters, this gives me my slope, which is the M, and my y-intercept, which is that V. So what I can do from this, and if we're trying to create, um, create different representations of this, I can take my formula my y equals mx plus b, substitute in my m x plus my b, which is five. Now I can see that it goes ahead and creates that line on there. And then I can hit this gear button up here. I'm gonna get rid of that. I can hit this gear button and convert it to a table. Now from here, I've got my table. If I've got to uh, find certain values of X. I can go ahead and type in whatever values I need. Uh, let's say that we want for seven pizzas, it's gonna be $89. And so what I can use this for now is filling in a, a table. I've got my graph here. I've got my equation from, uh, from the data set from this, uh, this formula that we typed in. 
Okay, so this can be used any time that you have two points. So however you need to get those two points, you can, uh, you can do that and plug those two points into a data table like this. And from that, you can get slope, you can get y-intercept, you get the formula for the line, all of that information uh, right there from Desmos. So I hope this was helpful for you to find slope and y-intercept from the line, and I hope you have a great day. All right, bye.